Today, we are diving into the incredible journey of how a Nigerian entrepreneur built a thriving fashion brand right in the heart of Africa. If you do what you're doing well, people will find you wherever you are. I didn't bother telling people I was relocating or put a sign or anything, and people still found me. Meet Isioma, a visionary who saw the opportunity to bring contemporary African fashion to the world. From humble beginnings to becoming a household name. Everything Nigeria, once we start, we actually end up doing it better. It's actually global, it's already started. You can see our clothes anywhere. Two years ago, uh, one of the Miss Universe was wearing one of our dresses. You know, all the ones I'm doing now are going out of the country. Jelly US, UK, but I've sent to Liberia, to Burkina Faso, Turks and Caicos Island, but mostly US and UK. Isioma has transformed her challenges into stepping stones and making waves in the fashion industry. Stay tuned as we explore the highs and lows of building a brand in a competitive market. What shaped her unique designs and the future of African fashion. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Simon Aroma Films here again, and today we are here at Isimaya. Isimaya is a fashion brand in Nigeria, and we're here for her to tell us our story on how she's been able to build a successful business in Nigeria. I'm Isioma Chime, the owner of Isimaya. Could you tell us how you started and what inspired you to start a fashion business in Nigeria? First of all, I started it as a hobby because I actually started by chemistry. So I just used to do it for fun. Then I discovered that I was really good at it. So I just started. And then from there, I just grew. Like people liked what I made for myself. And then I just started doing it. So I trained myself in everything I wanted to do. And that's how I started. Just bit by bit, increasing my was it knowledge. Self -taught? Yeah, self -taught. Oh, wow. self taught How was the journey like for you? Yeah, you know, when you're self taught it actually kind of takes twice as long, but it's more interesting because now you're actually not confined to what you're taught. It's easier for you to create. So, um, thank you, Google. Yes, I read a lot of books. I like mm. reading, so mm. I was able to start with that. And then I keep trying to upgrade my knowledge. I follow some certain people, you know, I study clothes, like I get some clothes and dismantle them and study how they're made. Oh. Yes, that's how I started. What were the biggest challenges you faced um, starting up a fashion brand here? Okay, okay, for Joss, apart from the usual Nigerian problems, lights, just sourcing fabrics and other accessories is really hard to do. That's why a lot of sewing here is not up to the same standard. There's not like the designers can't do it, but you're sourcing your materials, you have to get it from Abuja or Lagos and then you don't always get what you order. Mm. So those are uh, one of the biggest ch challenges and you know funding as usual but that one can, you can actually go around funding but power mm. Mm -hmm. you know power is a little better now though so I give them that and all the other Nigerian issues but for me that's sourcing fabric and other accessories for me here. How did you fund your fashion brand from the beginning? How were you able to fund it? One of our family friends actually helped me with like um, two machines, I think. Yes. For everything else, I just started and just adding and building. Did you start fashion as a main hustle or you had something you were doing before? Like or? I never pursued my biochemistry. You studied biochem? Yes. Yeah, if I was in another country, I would have pursued like two majors now, two degrees, because I always like drawing. But here in Nigeria, this is science. It's like they just want to confine me to that. So what were the strategies you used to build your brand? Well, for me, honestly, I don't think I had like a proper strategy. I just make what I like, design stuff, and people like it. If you do what you're doing well, people will find you wherever you are. That's it. Even when I moved here, like I didn't bother telling people I was relocating or put a sign or anything, and people still found me. Just do what you do and do it well. Even if you're in like a corner somewhere, they'll find you. That's my strategy. Because me, I focus more on the design than money. Even though, yes, it's to my detriment a little bit, but I'm more focused on making something the best way I can. I'm not saying money is not important, but I just want the outfit to turn out perfect. How do you incorporate um, Nigerian heritage into your designs? Because I, I see mostly you do female wears. So how do you incorporate Nigerian culture into your designs? Yeah, but the thing is that by the fact that you're here, you actually, you're in Nigeria, you're already incorporating it. No matter what, like most of our stuff is made with Ankara. You're just influenced by it. Our fabrics are interesting. Like I prefer to sew with Ankara. It's more fun to play with. So it's hard not to be influenced by it. It's everywhere, especially now. Could you share a major milestone or a major turning point in your fashion business? I made a dress for someone, was it last year or the year before last? And because of that, I got a lot of foreign foreign clients. So from then I'm making like, even all the ones I'm doing now are going out of the country. It's usually US, UK, but I've sent to Liberia. Like the ones I'm making now are going to Burkina Faso, Turks and Caicos Island I did earlier this year. That's, that's amazing. Miss World was wearing one of our dresses, the Nigerian designer. So our dresses are everywhere. 
now. In fact, most people who prefer to order a lot of their dresses, they come to Nigeria now, Lagos especially, Abuja, to make their dresses. Okay. It's actually going global and it's going to get bigger, just like our music. You can already see it. Yeah. You can already notice the trend. Yeah. How do you balance creativity and the business side of fashion? For most creatives, it's actually very hard to balance because you're more actually interested in making the clothes than the business. Ah, oh, I try my best, but I still drift more, like I'm more interested in creating. <laughs> the best thing to do would be get it, to get a manager for your business. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm working towards now, to get yeah. someone to just manage it so I can just focus on creating. What would be your advice to aspiring fashion entrepreneurs who want to venture into the fashion world in Africa? But now you actually have a bigger advantage than like earlier because now Nigerian fashion is on the map. For you, I would say if you want to do it, start properly. Don't be informal like some of us started like a proper business. Like I said earlier, get a manager, get funding and just set it up properly and you actually do better. Mm -hmm. That's my advice. What's your future plan and the goal you have for fashion? One, I'd actually like to have a line you can just walk in and pick any of my dresses. And then two, I'd like to have like a resource center where people like people that are starting now. Maybe you don't have machines, you can come and use my machines. Like, just use it and set up yourself before you branch out and start your own business. Mm. That's what I want to do. That's that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. So for you watching, I hope you you've learned a lot from this video. In a short time, she gave so much that could be in a book. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, do well to like. I also drop details to her fashion company down below the video and also her Instagram. You can check it out. You can order for weddings. I do wedding dresses, dinner gowns. Yes. All right then. So um, if you enjoyed this video, as I said, like, subscribe and share. Tell them to like. Yes, and like and share. Yeah. All right then. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye for Bye. now. Bye.